Your doctor will then lift your penis upward. A well lubricated instrument called a resectoscope is then gently inserted into the urethra. When the resectoscope reaches the back of the penis, your doctor will pull the penis downward in order to create a straight path into the prostate. Once the instrument is inside the prostate, your doctor will extend a small loop of sharp edged wire from the end of the resectoscope. Using this tool, your doctor will then scrape excess tissue from the prostate, restoring it to its normal size. Tissue removed from the prostate may be sent to a laboratory for analysis. When the surgery is complete, your doctor will remove the resectoscope. Your doctor will probably ask you to wear a temporary Foley catheter. A Foley catheter is a narrow tube inserted through your urethra and into your bladder. The catheter is connected to a bag that is attached to your leg by a strap. While the Foley catheter is in place, urine will pass from your bladder into the bag. You will not need to urinate into a toilet. The nurse will show you how to change the bag when it's full. An appointment will be made for you to return to the doctor's office in a couple of days to have the catheter removed. As soon as the anesthesia wears off and you feel comfortable, you will be allowed to leave.